Hi, I'm back, and today I'm going to be uh, sharing a unboxing video of the Studio Calico August kit called Let's Go. My kit came a little bit late this month, later than the usual, but nonetheless, it's here and I'm excited to use it and share it with you guys today. Let's start with the stamp subscription. This month's stamp set is called A to Z, and as you can see, it is an alphabet stamp set, which are my favorite, and I wanted to show you that you have two fonts here, but essentially you end up with, you can use three different looks. You can use the bold font, the lined font, and then combine the two to uh, create a third look. And I'm going to stamp this out for you guys so that you can um, see what I mean. I'm going to use the um, Color Theory ink pad in Lemon Zest. And I'm going to spell out the word week. And so you want to start off with um, the bold font in your light color. There we go. You can see that just fine. and stamp that out. Now I'm being very messy here. I'm not taking time to be careful with the stamping or um, lining up the letters just because um, of time. So there's that. And now what you do is you take a different color, a darker color, to uh, use uh, to stamp the lined the thinner font and I'm gonna uh, use black today and there you go isn't that cool so you can have the three different oops wrong one and you can also be very precise in stamping the um, thin font or you can kind of offset it to give it a different kind of um, look as well. So there's that. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do the thin font as well for the look of all three to show you the look of all three now with the thin font you want to be careful not to press down too hard because it can make the um, stamp wiggle a little bit and then um, your letters will look a, a bit crooked if you look closely at that letter E it, uh, the bottom there is a little bit crooked so this font here is really bold. I like that. So there you have it. The three looks you can get from the stamp set. Now another thing you can do as well is you can mix and match so you can have let's say the W has the two stamps and then your E just has the uh, thin font and then your K has the thick font so you can mix and match that way as well and um, this stamp set does have the numbers as well as the number sign, ampersand, question mark, I don't and the at sign which is oh and there's an exclamation mark as well so uh, you have all of it there pretty cool huh so that is this month's stamp set I also wanted to show you a comparison of the this month's stamp set with the previous release of the small lined alphabet by uh, Lena or Lena Lamb so I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the difference, which is a very slight difference. 
So there you see that the top one is the previous release and the uh, bottom one is the this month's release. So the this month's release is slightly larger than the previous release. I'm hoping this is not out of focus. Um, so there's the um, comparison. So I mean not that much of a difference but a visible difference when they're side by side. In a layout, in a spread, I don't think you'd be able to um, notice any difference at all. This month's kit is called Let's Go and here we have the usual card that tells us the color theory pairings and gives a description of the kit which says modern energetic and bold and I see already that there is some navy blue which is one of my favorite colors and now let's go through the 3x4 cards nice green today's favorites Polk, not polka dot circles red grid pattern on both sides wonderful that's nice black and white on that side keep looking for sunshine oh I love this watercolor look like that there's a blue black and white neutral pattern there as well as color oh happy day in the rainbow color over it, it says <laughs> into it more rainbow I like that it makes it easier to pair the cards graphic flower same on the back this is a marble looks like a granite countertop or a marble countertop rather August goals and a pink blue and black no rain, no flowers. It's funny because we've had so much rain in my side of the world. <laughs> Navy blue. Pie charts. This says more of this. I like that. Live out loud. And a nice mint green color. This says love this. Very graphic. What is that? A like, like bubble? Love bubble? Here's the story. That's a nice journaling card. This green is like a, uh, I want to say like an army dark green. This says note. Hello beautiful. On both sides. Safety pins interesting. <laughs> Backside has um, small circles. Star. Days of the week and rainbow order. Not rainbow order, but rainbow colors. I like these multicolored cards because I think that they'll be easy to pair up with um, other cards in the kit or from previous kits as well. And the 4x6 cards, this one says shine on. More of that watercolor look on the back. And a blue color with some navy blue. That marble look again on both sides. Q and A speech bubbles. One large speech bubble. And there's that in the green color on both sides. And then this says this week. I like that. Ooh, I like this even better. <laughs> That's nice. With gold foil. Alright, now on to the embellishments. This is from Live Love Paper, and these are tabs in multiple colors. And in numbers. So it goes one through what? <laughs> one, two, three. And then OK. Yes, and noted. So 
So you could use them like this, or you could, they're perforated, so you could cut that out or just fold it over and put it onto your, um, in your pocket, on your photo, or, or whatever else, I guess. <laughs> Here are some sequins. You can make a nice, cute little shaker pocket with this, or just glue those onto your card or your photo. These are acetate um, circles by Live Love Paper. Oh no, Life Love Paper. I am so sorry. That font is really small. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see these. Yeah, you can. Okay. So there's a pink one, blue one, red stripe, that graphic flower that we saw on one of the cards. This says Go in orange. And this is just. Um, a graphic pattern. Now you'll want to note that when you get these there is a plastic cover on it so you want to remove that before adding it in your pocket or on your layout. So life love paper I'll get that right sorry. <laughs> More emoji puffy stickers yeah <laughs> and my favorite chipboard by Studio Calico I love chipboard. There's that graphic flower again. A camera, gold foil stars, eight for the month of August. This says details, wonderful. This is an arrow. Love, picture perfect. I'm sure I'm going to use all of these for the month of August. They're gorgeous. Love it. Here we have the alphabet stickers. No numbers this month and the stamp set. This is um, a larger stamp set this month. Usually the stamp set that comes in the kit is much smaller and actually I have one here to show you for comparison. And um, this month's stamp set is fabulous. I love it. It says snapshot, this moment captured, good times, let's go, a geotag, this um, is a circle. It says, love this place, and it's repeated around the circle, and then it has the word location. He, uh, we were here. That's cool. And then this says, travel notes, and this one says, right here where I belong. I love the sentiments on this stamp set. For the month of May, I think it was May, I used lots of the um, stamp that was included um, in the kit and I think I'm gonna end up doing the same um, this month as well in August because these are fabulous I love the fonts I love the sentiments I love the variety as well I love it and I, I don't know I just love travel stamps as well and that is it now you will notice as I did when I um, on reveal day that this month did not come with a rubber embellishment and I was very disappointed I was hoping that I would get the 12 months my subscription started in January so I have January through July and now I don't have August September October November and December um, I looked through my stash and I found in October and September from previous kits that I ordered but I'm missing those other months and I will admit I'm a little disappointed because I wanted that one consistent piece in this year's album so um, I don't know what I'm going to do I know it's not a big deal as well but um, this year I just started with that idea that I wanted that one element that would represent repeat itself throughout every month so maybe I can get a digital version of it or something I don't know anyhow I really like this one's kit these chipboards are fabulous the stamp set is fabulous as well I love those elements this card right here is gorgeous and um, I want to say these watercolor ones are some of my favorites as well. I enjoy watercoloring when I make cards, and I think that's why I like these so much. So anyway, thank you so much for spending time with me today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.